Okay, this is a legendary interview now. We'll get this on a scooter. What is that, a go track? I like that. Amari, talk about a success. But actually, you know what? Let's say what nobody's saying. Because I say what no one's saying. I think you got a little bit of juice, a little bit of traction compared to other middleweights. Are you feeling that same enthusiasm right now? No, absolutely. I, f I definitely feel right now um, my name is starting to have some type of buzz around it. Um, you know, and it's all coming from the hard work that I put in, beating these guys they put in front of me. And not just beating them, but beating them in the fashion that I'm beating them, stopping them, beating them up, then I stop them. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, it's all, all this is just a, a matter of all my hard work that I put in in the gym. I think one thing that was interesting was in the press conference, I'm sure you saw it, Devin took time to praise your performance nah, and say sure. how it motivated you. Can you tell us a little bit about that story about you go back to the locker room? What did you two say to each other after you got that stoppage? Um, so, um, I mean, it was it was, it was kind of like two two moments he he, he said because you know before we fight I, I try at least to make sure I, you know dap dap up Dev and you know what I'm saying you know give him my good spirits and stuff like that but uh, when I seen him when he first walked in the locker room um, me and Dev was uh, we was talking about how my fight went and everything he was like I was like I told you I was gonna, I was going to stop him you know what I'm saying and, uh, and he was you know wishing me but after after he fought which is kind of what he was referring to as well. After he fought, I, uh, I told Dev, like, I'm proud of you, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm a guy that sees I see the work from the sun up to sundown with Dev, you know what I'm saying? And he worked extremely hard, and for him to go in there, do it in the fashion that he did it, with all the doubters, everybody saying that he has no power, or everybody saying that he, can't, he gets hit by southpaws too much, and for him to go in there, and pitch a shutout like that was just, it was just unbelievable. It was just, I won't even say unbelievable, let me change the words because we knew it was gonna happen, but to prove amazing. to everybody, it was an amazing, amazing night. You know it was like a Hall of Fame type performance. It's like no, you go into sure. the Hall of Fame, that's like one of the fights they show you. For sure. Um, felt like Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence type performance. For you know? sure, for sure, and, um, and you know, a guy like Regis Poe, they called him the boogeyman of 140 pound division, and Dev just straight went up there and dismantled everything. We just couldn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? But that was just something that, you know, Devin trained for and then went out there and happened. But I mean, I think the big thing that I took away was Devin praised you for wanting to work as hard as him. For sure. But you're not getting those big boy paychecks. For sure, because um, I, I know that the, the, the harder I work, the, the, the faster they're coming, and, and, and I know the. the the, like, the more likely it is to come by the harder I work, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here just bullshit and it's like, what's the likelihood of it happening? But I know I'm working hard, so I know it's only a matter of time. It's only it's, it's only a time where 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 it could happen any day now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just working hard every day, in, day in, day out at the gym, and you know, just praying for that for that day and for a lot of giving my moment. Okay, let's keep it a dollar bill, bro. Is next year kind of the year maybe where you step up and you get some of these potential co-main event, Absolutely. main event? Because I think everyone's waiting for that moment. Because Absolutely. You brought more fans than a lot of the undercard fighters to the crowd, and I oh, think the sure. fact that your fight wasn't on pay-per-view, I think that a lot of people kind of wanted you on the pay-per-view. For sure, for sure. But also, also that's, that honestly goes to show you um, where where I'm at as a fighter and the fan base that I have and you know supporters out of the support system that I got. You know what I'm saying? They all came out before the pay-per-view even started. You know what I mean? To come watch me. It was early. The people were still in traffic getting there. You know what I'm saying? They rushed to get there to make sure they made it in for my fight. And um, every fight with me, I, I can't complain. Every fight with me after me was, was a title fight. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, shit. I just go to show you, like I said, you know, where I'm at as a fighter. Yeah. Anything else stand out about that night? A memory running into somebody after the fight? Like, just... Seeing somebody or even walking to the ring, Man. do you remember anything? Um, I mean, walking to the ring, um, I, I, I remember um, they called my name and I walked out and I stepped out from out the tunnel and I just looked up and I just heard everybody yelling my name and the chaser and, and to connect eyes with some, some familiar faces that I know and the family members, it was just like, it just made my night, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being here and from, you know, being, and when I was younger, thinking where I would have went and the direction I could have went, and to being where I'm at is just, you know, I just got to give all praise to Allah and Alhamdulillah for everything that he's brought to the table for me. And, um, you know, I, that's why I'm, I'm not playing with nothing. I work hard and, and cherish everything that he brings to me.
to speak on that because I think that's also why you connect with so many people. For is sure. People relate that your life could have gone many different ways, sure. but you chose to be a successful sure. young man who's dream chasing. For sure, and and and, and it was it wasn't easy to 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 just like not go that way. It was hard, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I stayed I stayed down. I stayed dedicated, and I knew that it'd get greater later. You know what I'm saying? And all I, have to, and all I have to do is just work hard, and, and being up around Dev just makes it so much easier because I want to compete with Dev, and, and if he's working hard, and I'm working hard, and now and now it's just so instilled in me that I can't do none done none less but to work hard. So, um, man, I just gotta it's give funny. thanks to I gotta give thanks to Allah and thanks to, to Devin for you know showing me this way. You said that, I said that to a young fighter today, no, someone came sure. up to me and I said, you gotta get so used to working hard that no, when you don't sure. work hard, you it, feel like you're I messing up. I feel like up. shit, I feel like <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying, I swear, like, if, if, if I do anything less than, than work hard, it's just like, did I even work, you know what I'm saying, so, every time I'm in the gym, I go hard, every time I'm, um, in strength conditioning, I go hard, running, I'm going hard, you know what I'm saying, I, I of course, wrestling, my body's trying to recover, but, for the most part, I'm going hard. Okay.